Just when the pandemic was beginning in 2020, a team of geologists had traveled to India to attend a geology conference. And then due to lockdowns and travel restrictions, the conference got canceled. But the team was here, so they decided to do some geology tourism and visited the Bhimbetka rock shelters near Bhopal. These rock formations are thought to be very old and they are thought to have been inhabited 100,000 years ago by human ancestors and relatives. When the team was here and they were looking around inside the caves, they saw something high up on the wall that caught their eye. When they took multiple photographs and looked at this closely, they realized that what they were looking at on the wall was a fossil. And not just any fossil, but an imprint of a very rare primitive animal called Dickinsonia, dating back to about 550 million years. This one fossil, they say, was hiding in plain sight, and they published a paper with their findings in 2021. It got a lot of attention, especially in India, and even the print covered it. This was a really major news that a 550 million year old primitive animal fossil had been discovered in the middle of the Indian subcontinent. However, when another group of experts went to check out this finding and confirm it last year, they discovered that what the previous group thought was a fossil was in fact something much, much more mundane, something that is found all around us. The famous Bimbetka fossil was not really a fossil at all. Dickinsonia is a group of extinct primitive animals that inhabited seabeds around what is today Australia, China, Russia and Ukraine about 650 million years to 550 million years ago. This was around the time that the paleo landmass called Gondwana land was thought to have already finished assembling. At the time, the Indian subcontinent, Australia, South America, Africa and Antarctica had accreted together to form a single landmass. Initially, when Dickinsonia fossils were first discovered in the 40s and 50s, scientists didn't exactly know if these imprints were that of a plant or an animal. But the discovery of cholesterol molecules in these fossils led Dickinsonia to be classified as animals. In fact, it is thought to have been one of the earliest animals to have ever existed on Earth. Dickinsonia fossils don't have bones. These were not complex animals. All discovered fossils have only been imprints in sandstone shaped like ribbed ovals symmetric across a vertical axis. These fossils form when these animals are covered in sand of the seabed, which then solidifies before the animal fully decomposes. And the fossils are really valuable, of course, in terms of the scientific knowledge we can get from them. Fossils are also used to date geological material and rocks. This is one of the long-standing problems with Bhimbetka and the upper Vindhya regions. We don't know when exactly they formed. They could have formed 1 billion years ago, as many geologists suspect. They could have formed 500 to 600 million years ago, as many others think. Or they could have formed much later, say just tens of millions of years ago. We don't know exactly, but the discovery of fossils help us date rocks better. And when there are no fossils available, it becomes almost an impossible task to date these rocks extremely accurately. When the group of geologists saw this imprint first in 2020, they realized that one of the theories for dating the caves and rock structures does put the date of Bhimbetka at about 550 million years ago. So they used that theory as a bolstering argument to say that this discovery of the fossil indicated that the Bhimbetka rock structures had already formed by 500 million years ago, definitely, and not later. The authors of the study stated that this showed evidence that not only had Gondwana land finished assembling, but Dickinsonia were present at temperate and subtropical latitudes as well. There had been no follow-up studies on this particular fossil, this lone fossil, until now and it kind of died out from public attention as almost an established and accepted fact, at least within the Indian cultural consciousness. 
Then in December of 2022, last year, a group of University of Florida scientists went to Bhimbetka to confirm the findings along with geologists from University of Rajasthan. They went to this particular location and studied the imprint in great detail and then have come out with a paper that says, lo and behold, what we have on the wall of the cave is not a Dickinsonia, but just a beehive. A beehive. In their paper, they put down seven points after their detailed observations as to why the fossil is actually instead a beehive and not really a fossil at all. Firstly, they say that the rocks all around were home to several honeybee nests and they were located approximately 10 to 20 meters above the ground, the same level where the imprint had been found. The dark staining on the hives over time resembles soot that covers fossils generally. The authors further say that the imprint is not located on a seabed surface. Instead, the location of a fossil was at a joint from which material had collapsed below to form the cave underneath that everyone was standing in. The fossil is also located at an angle to the seabed material in this region. Additionally, it is not located on a completely flat surface. It wraps around a curved surface going into a crack. Fossils typically are not found in deformities like this. Then they state that the fossil in fact physically appears to be decaying. The original team stated that soot from fires used by ancestors of humans when they occupied the caves would have led to the decay and that kind of appearance. Remember these caves are thought to have been occupied by human relatives from about 100,000 years ago. However, the new team believes that there is no soot from human fires at all. What is visible is simply the rapid decay of a fairly recent honeycomb and it simply appears as though there is soot covering. This honeycomb appeared to have been physically peeling away from the walls as well. The team also discovered another abandoned and decaying hive a few feet away, which kind of looked similar to the perpetrated fossil due to the way the material used to build the hive stains darkly. The top part of the decayed hive had also left an imprint similar to the fossil, which upon closer magnification showed hexagonal imprints of a hive. Lastly, the new authors say that a large point of contention is that there has been only one single fossil found of Dickinsonia and had the animal actually been present in this region, more fossils would have easily been discovered, especially in the surrounding areas. This team combed the region for two days and they found no other fossil or nothing else that resembles a fossil. Thus, they conclude that this was a case of mistaken identity and what the original team of geologists stumbled upon was merely an imprint of a recently decaying beehive. This was a fairly short and sweet paper and it put a complete full stop to the argument that these caves could hold a fossil. It was well done and thoroughly cross-checked and it is established now that this imprint is not a Dickinsonia fossil. And in a positive move, the lead author of the older paper accepted the findings. He told the University of Florida that it is rare but essential for scientists to own up when they make mistakes. And him and his team are writing a comment to the original paper agreeing with the new findings. Now one major consequence of these new findings is that they once again leave completely wide open the question of the age of the caves and rock shelters at Bhimbetka. Had the imprint been that of Dickinsonia, we could tell that the rocks had formed by at least 550 million years ago because that's when these animals were around. But now that it is a mere beehive from a few years ago, these numbers have been appended again. So Bhimbetka is yet again back to being undated. These rock shelters could have formed much more recently or much earlier than any Dickinsonia lived. We do not know. The authors of the new paper believe that zircon crystal evidence and magnetic signature of the rocks point to the rock formation being a billion years old. This is what many other scientists believe as well. But researchers will have to do much more before confirming this. Overall, this incident is a superb example of how science works and how research works. 
When further findings contradict old findings in light of new information, it is indeed important and imperative for scientists to change their understanding and opinions. This was done in good spirits with this case and these findings in fact now add on to the evidence that Dick and Sonia has not been found elsewhere in the world at all so far. Going forward, other geological analysis will hope to provide more details about the age of Bhimbetka rock shelters as well.